how you feel it here. Stay down in your stance. Stay down. Work this position. If you start to get fatigued, what happens? If you start to stand up, what happens? We get double leg. We end up on a butt. Not where we want to be in this sport. Stay down. Stay on your toes. Keep your knees bent. 20 minutes. I can stay here for 20 minutes straight. I'm going to be able to do a pretty good job of a six or seven minute match. I'm going to be able to do a pretty good job of a six or seven minute match right here. Stay down, stay low. You guys are moving well. You guys are moving well. I like what I see. Got to stay intense the entire time. Okay, moving on. We're still shadow wrestling. We're going to do what called down blocking with my head and my hands. My lead leg, I'm here. I'm going to down block with my head and my hands. I'm coming here. I'm down blocking right to there. So I'm in this position. I'm down blocking with my head and my hands right there. Guys coming to my leg, blocking with my head, blocking with my hands right there. Lead leg, right leg here, same thing. Guys coming to my leg, down blocking with my head and my hands. Right there. You feel a guy coming better when you're lower and you're fighting head position. I'm fighting head position. I feel it. I'm visualizing it when I'm shadow wrestling. Guys coming to me, down blocking right here. Guys coming to me, I'm down blocking right here. I'm throwing my leg. Down and away. <coughs> I'm throwing my leg down and away. Down and away. Together. Here. Now he's not going to get to my leg. He doesn't touch my legs. He doesn't touch my legs. Now he's coming to my leg. He doesn't touch it. He doesn't touch my legs right here. All right. You're going to go out. You're going to start slow. When I say slow, very deliberate. Spitting all over the place here. Sorry about that. Very deliberate. Focused on what I'm doing here. Slow. Learning. 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 Right leg lead, left leg lead. Any questions? All right, go! Not so hard to move laterally more. When I down block, I like what I see. You guys are doing a good job. I'm here. I'm down blocking. I'm down blocking. Once I down block, start to follow through with it. Move lateral. So I'm here. I down block. Start to move here. All right? Or I'm moving. I'm coming here and moving. Instead of committing so much to this, where you can't move, making a short block and a move. All right? So what we want to do is we want to put ourselves in position to attack. Even though it's defense, defensive tactics, we want to put ourselves in position to attack, to shoot, to tackle, to drive, hit, drive, and finish. Just like if we're initiating the hole. The only difference is we're doing it off a of guy's attack that we're blocking. Alright? So we're going to go back out, we're going to do it again. What we want to do is follow through more to the angle. So if I'm a right leg lead, I'm going to down block here. I'm down blocking here and I'm moving. I'm down blocking and moving right here. Left leg lead, I'm down blocking and moving right here. Guys coming to me, I use that head. I use that head. Guys coming to me here, I use that head. Take it over my knee. Remember what I said? I take my head over my knee. Circle here. Left leg lead, come here. I put myself in position to get to an angle to follow through with an attack. Right there. Right? And then here, down block in here. Lower your level. Not here. It's here. I lower my level here. Guys coming to me. I lower my level. Guys coming to my leg. I feel it. Because of my position, I lower my level. Low, 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 low. Circle in there. Any questions? Here's your drill. Slow and deliberate. Learning your position. Muscle memory. That's what you're developing. You're in your stance. I'm here. Guys coming to my leg. Blocking with my head in my hand. I'm circling. Blocking and circling. All right? Right leg lead. Guys coming to my leg. What do you say? Head over the knee. Head over the knee. 
got to throw my leg back here. Now he's coming to my leg. Any questions? All right, let's go. Let's get going here. A little bit faster pace. But we got to learn to use our head as a tool. Shadow wrestling and visualize what I'm doing. So I'm here. Guy's coming to my leg here. He's coming to my leg. All right? I'm not just doing this and moving. What I want to do is I want to push him away. All right, so we're still gonna shadow wrestle, but this is what I'm doing. He's coming to my leg, whether it's a head to the inside shot or a head to the outside shot, it doesn't matter. I feel it. I feel it coming because of my position here. When I feel him coming, what I wanna do, go slow. What I wanna do is I wanna block with my head, use it as a tool and push him away from me. See how I pushed his head away? This shot, now you see me, now you don't. All right? Again, head to the inside shot. He's leaving with this hand. He's coming here, same thing. I'm here, I'm down blocking here. I'm using my head to push his head away. And I follow through on this angle. So what I have is an angle right here on him. All right, if I'm a right leg lead, he's either coming here or he's coming here. So what I want to do, I'm here and I feel it coming. Yep, shoot. Right here, go slower. I'm here, he's coming to me. I'm down blocking with my head and I'm circling to this angle. I'm using my hand, I'm using my hands, and I'm moving my feet. All right, thank you very much. So, I'm here, I'm starting to use my head as a tool, down blocking here, and circling. Left leg lead, I circle right. Right leg lead, I circle left, here. Getting to that angle, there's my shot. There's my shot, boom. Right there, that's what I'm getting to. All right, so get down to your stance. I didn't see a lot of difference overall in the group from what we did between both times, bringing it in the last two times. What? What do you mean by that? I mean, I saw a lot of this again, that last time out, all right? We're evolving. We're getting better, we're progressing, we're building. Boom, boom, boom. Every time we come in, we get better at the skill. And we add something else to it. All right, so focus on this. Here, down blocking with my head, and moving opposite direction, my lead leg. Right leg lead, I feel my opponent attacking me. Head here, circle left. Head here, circle right. Head here, circle left. Right in there. Any questions? All right, let's go. Partner, going to continue here. Going to pick a lead leg. I just happen to be a lefty when I wrestle. All right, so I lead my left leg a lot. That doesn't mean that I can't lead my right. But I lead my left leg. Let's do it. Show it from both sides. You guys will pick your lead leg. All right. Basically, what we're going to do is we got to have a lot of cooperation from the guy that's doing the shooting, all right? And when he's shooting, he's not really shooting. What he's doing, he's just stepping in. He's stepping in right here, or he's stepping in right here on your lead leg. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If I'm in good position here, I got my chest somewhat over my knee, I'm on my toes, I got my elbows back, my shoulders shrugged a little bit. In this position, when he comes to me, I can feel it. So he's coming right here. All right, I just want you to step. Don't even leave your, don't even leave your feet. Just step right to there. That's all I want him doing. Just coming right here like this. Right here like this. All right, what I'm doing, as he's coming to me, he's coming to me, I'm moving and down blocking right to there. All right, you see what I did? Now, he's not gonna move after that, all right? Because we're just working. He's a scarecrow. He's stepping in, he's not shuffling, okay? So he's stepping in, I'm blocking right there. He's stepping in, I'm blocking right there, and I'm getting to my angle, right here. I continue to move to my angle. Watch what I'm doing with my head, watch what I'm doing with my hands. I'm in here, I'm wrestling, he's coming to me. Relax a little bit. I'm in here, I'm wrestling, he's coming to me. Go ahead, I'm down blocking, getting to that angle. I use my head as he's coming to me. I use my head, go ahead, to knock him away. 
I use my hand, go ahead, to knock him away. My hand is blocking his, his power hand, his attacking hand. So he's coming to me. I'm down blocking here. There's my ankle. Right there. He's not following through. He's being a good partner for me. All right? Right leg lead. I want to circle which way? If I lead my right, which way do I circle? Left. I circle to the left. All right, so I'm in here. Good position. Knees bent, bent at the waist. Here, I can move pretty good. Not stiff here. Loosey goosey with my hands. He's coming to me. Down blocking right there. He's coming to me. Down blocking right there. Look at my head, look at my hands. Come to me again. Down blocking right there. I'm not here, where when he goes to my leg and attacks me, now I'm trying to down block, it's too late. That's why I emphasize staying down here. And I like to tell the story about a roommate that I had growing up. His name was Terry. When he'd get up in the middle of the night to take a leak, he'd shuffle down the hall just like this. He'd take a leak in the stance, Turn around, he'd shuffle down the hall and get back in bed. Stance in motion, everywhere, in the hallway, on the way to class. Right here, right here, everywhere he went, everywhere. From the car to the, from the, in the parking lot, to the school. After workout, from the gym, to the locker room, to the shower. Getting his clothes on. Out the door to the parking lot to the car. From the car, up the long driveway, into home, sit down, eat his meal. From the table to the study table. From the study table, take a leak. Back to the study table. <laughs> Time to go to bed. Wake up in the middle of the night, take a leak, down the hall. Right here. That's why we have to think that way. Because when I'm too high here, he's coming to me too late. Now we gotta do all this other stuff on the bend in our leg, peeling, cross, making stuff in here. Alright, that's all we gotta know that you guys are gonna get here. But we can eliminate a lot of headache by just being here. So if he's coming to me, I'm already there. And I push that head away. Circle, go ahead. Right to here. There's my ankle. Alright? So left leg lead, I got my head over here, he's coming to me, I'm down blocking right to there. Right leg lead, he's got to get to my leg, he's down blocking right to there. Good drill, good skill. Just knock his head away with your head. Knock his head away. Taking a lot of time there, any questions? All right, let's go. I want you to focus on these two things. Get your two hands on an arm up high, like you're holding a baseball bat here or here. And then I want you to pressure in right to there, just to follow through and keep close contact with him. All right? So he's coming to my left leg. I'm doing everything right. He's coming to me. I'm down blocking here. I'm knocking away my head. I'm circling right to here. A lot of you guys are coming out this way. All right? Now he squares, and we're even again. What we want to do is we don't want to be even. He took a shot on my excellent, perfect position. And I'm going to make him pay. Because I'm disciplined and I'm down in my stance and he's coming to me, go ahead, I'm down blocking here. Once I get to here, look where my hands are. Right here, like I'm grabbing a baseball bat. Who said that? You did? What'd you say? Yeah, like grabbing a baseball bat. You know what I mean by that? Yeah, that a boy. That a boy. Right? Right? So I'm right here. Just like I'm grabbing a baseball bat. Right? So I'm right here. And after I grab that baseball bat, I pressure forward. Just to follow through and be close to him. Be close and controlling. Right leg lead, I'm here. He's coming to me. I'm down blocking here. Circling, you're doing a good job right to here. Now we gotta add two hands on the arm. Circle, pressure. Circle, pressure. He's coming to me again. Right here, down block and circle, pressure. 
Come in here, this side, down blocking, pressure. Start to move laterally and follow through. Two hands on the arm. Make him feel <coughs> your weight. Make him feel your pressure. Questions? Go! Let me go ahead, boom. Just knocking him out right here. He lowers his level to get a little lower. I lower my head a little bit. Move my feet. See right there. You guys are starting to really use your head wherever he's going. Wherever he's going with his level, you're using your head to block. So he's high, he's just stepping in, reaching, just knocking him away. He's low, I'm moving and dropping my level here. And get to that angle. I like what I see. Anybody, anybody got any questions so far? Okay, moving on. What we're gonna do is we're gonna, first of all, we gotta get some space here. Somebody's gonna get hurt. No, I'm just kidding. He's, he's back up a little. He's, he's gonna get hurt. Yeah, that one line. <laughs> <laughs> Right leg lead, he's coming to me. 
cell block right here. He squares, head comes out. There he is. Boom. Doing a real good job. A lot of repetition. See, a lot of repetition. You guys are, you guys are busy. I like that. I like repetition. Guys, you go out, you boom, 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 boom. They get stuck, they figure it out, ask a question, boom, 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 boom. How many times did I do it? Yeah. Eight, ten times. Is that enough? It's enough to learn. But see, after we leave here, you gotta do a boom, 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 infinity. How many times you gotta do it? Then you'll start hitting at the practice room. Then you go boom, 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 you're down in your position, you're not dink, dinking around. You guys are getting it. You're getting it. You're on your way. Okay, moving on here. Before we get to a head of the inside shot, a couple things we got to do on the outside shot. One is when a guy comes to me and I down block and I circle and I get to this angle and he squares on me and I pull this trigger, I got to use my head. I drop my level here. Even more, I'm blocking, I drop my level again, and I drive, and I hit with my shoulder, and I get this arm out here, but if my head's not tight, I'm not going anywhere. I gotta really lead with my head, I gotta keep my arm and my head tight together here. Really be able to hit in this position where I'm here, and I'm driving through, and I'm tight, and I'm tight, and I'm tight. Coming to my right leg lead. I'm here, I'm down blocking. I'm coming here. He squares on me. There's my shot. Not here. I look into it. My head's on a rail, so to speak. My head is on a rail. I'm down blocking here. I'm coming to this angle. He squared on me. My head's on a rail. I'm getting to it straight through his hips. Here. See how tight I am? Stepping, back leg up, pivot, explode right here. Drive. <coughs> you big man, you big man, this is a big man move right here. This is a big man move right here. Because a lot of big men, they don't get down in here where they're hitting here. They're just slapping at the legs. As he slaps at my leg, as he slaps at my leg, I'm down blocking. He's slapping up my leg, I'm down blocking here. Or we can just throw a wrench in the whole plan, everything we've talked about. He's coming here and he's slapping at me, and I'm down blocking this way. So now we just change the rules a little bit. Either way. I'm right here, he squares. Now I'm a big man, so I don't want to get caught in my knees. So when I go, I accelerate. I hit and I drive. Got to take him from point A to point B. I never touched my knee. I never touched my knee. I wasn't playing cupcake, Twinkies, or what do you call it? Um, tiddlywinks. <laughs> I wasn't playing tiddlywinks. Not here. I'm here. Okay. And if you're, you know, if you're light, you're gonna pop off your knees. You're a smaller guy, I'm here, I'm down by, go to it, he's coming here, I'm right here, I'm gonna pop off this knee when I go. Boom! Right there. Point A to point B. So get your head in there, use your head, I, I'm low, I stay low here. I'm low, I'm here, I'm driving, I'm driving. Use your head, keep your arm strong. If I got a straight arm in here, guys, not, it's usually not strong. Straight arm isn't strong. You ever hear the story of Gable and Grant? Mike Grant, Oklahoma. You ever hear, anybody ever hear that story? Dan Gable, anybody ever hear Dan Gable? <laughs>
Dan Gable is going to move up a weight class to wrestle Mike Grant, national champion, both of them were national champion. He's going to move up a weight class to wrestle Mike Grant the next year. He had in his head that he was going to do it months in advance. Why did he do it? Because he needed something to spark him. He felt himself getting a little bit lazy. He had to create that edge through the summer months. The dog days of summer, July the 5th or 6th, or whatever the day is today. Hotter than blazes, the fish aren't fighting. It's all gone in a wrestling camp. He had to stay motivated. And so he looked ahead. And he could feel February and March. He could feel it. And there's this guy named Mike Grant down in Oklahoma that was a weight class heavier than him, and he was going to move up in wrestling. He had a big old engine. They named it Grant. And his daddy, Matt Gable, maybe sitting in the living room or whatever, maybe at the dinner table, who knows where they were. On a whim, go get Grant. Move Grant to the front porch. So Grant's back in the back shed. Gable, Dan Gable, Danny Matt Gable, had to go to Grant and pick him up. And when he did it, he went straight arm like this, right? You got it like that? Huh? Can you do it like that? No. He got in there and he went like this. He got underneath there and he had bent arms. And he had his head down in there. And they were close. And he picked up that Grant. And he walked Grant to the front step. And he dropped Grant to the front step. He walked in the house and maybe it was that night, maybe it was later on in the day, maybe it was the next day. Move moved Grant to wherever. He put him in the back of the pickup. And so he'd go to Grant. He picked him up with straight arms and his head away. He picked him up like this. Just like I'm hitting a double leg here. He squared on me. I'm hitting my double leg. I'm hitting it here. I'm hitting it here. <coughs> here. 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 So when you're down in there, you're drilling, you get to this angle. He squared on me. I'm pulling that trigger. I'm tight. Everything is tight here. Boom! Fly the back leg, drive. Any questions? Stay low, head and arm tight, arm bent, arm strong, very strong. Go! Get in the angle, he's squaring. As I go, keep this arm, drive, drive, drive. Leg up, drive, drive, right to there. Let me start over here. I'm in this position. I lower my level, I'm exploding through. Drive it, drive, 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 drive. Taking it down. When I finish, I want to finish with emphasis. I want to put him on the mat, fairly hard and certain and explosive. I want to finish with emphasis. <coughs> Boom. All right? So he's coming to me. I'm down locking here. There's my angle. He squares. I lower my level. I'm gone. Right now, I'm gone. Boom. Back leg up. Pivot. Drive it right here. When I finish, I'm driving, 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 driving through the back. As I finish, I arch my back. Right at the end. I don't finish. They come here. All right, he's turning down good. When I really get him, he's going to roll across his, his back. I may not be able to hold him, but if I get him good the right way, get right here. I'm here, I lower my level, I explode. I fly that back leg, I'm driving. Look at my speed. Drive, 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 drive. Explode. Arch my back. Arch my back. Now he'll roll through. Catch it right here. He's going to his belly. Guy comes to my leg, coming here. I'm set up, I'm gone. I'm gone. Look at the angle I have. I'm driving through that body. Driving. Bent arm. Float. Running my feet. <coughs> running my feet. Perpendicular. 
Hips are perpendicular, arching my back. A lot of times you'll be surprised if your head's up where you catch a guy on his back. Where you catch a guy on his back. Okay? I know it's real crowded. You got a little, be a little bit careful. We don't want to be crashing at anybody's knees. But we still want to work on this finish. Okay? And when you get to it, when, you, when, he, when he goes to my leg and I down block here, and he starts to swear, you're taking a shot right here. Think about it, square up, square up, get good angle, and then go. Learn to get to the ideal angle here, pull that trigger, try. Now, once I get here, knock down my haunch and explode through him. As I'm hitting, I'm, ex As I'm hitting, I'm exploding through him. Here, running my feet. Run, 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 Right to there. Any questions? Let's go ahead and finish. Go! So that answers the question. Okay, moving on. Guys going to my leg. I'm moving my feet. I'm down blocking. I keep my head to the inside. Instead of as he squares, instead of letting it develop here, I keep my head to the inside, opposite hand. Here before, this way, I keep my head to the inside, opposite hand, I step behind his heel, lower my level, I push the arm across, trap his arm between his body and my head. I lower my level, drive through, two hands on the leg. Right here. Coming to my leg here, I'm down blocking right to here, I lower my level, I step behind his foot, driving through, right to here. That's all I want to do, get my head to the inside. Some of you guys are already doing that. Not a big deal if you are. I mean, we, we don't want to be too nitpicky. The, the idea is to be moving my feet. I'm in here, I'm in good position, he's coming to me. I'm down blocking, there it is, driving right there. Actually, I'd let it develop here, just the way it fell. All right, go to me again. Coming right here, lower my level, explode. Right there. As I hit my shot and penetrate, I stay low and I drive through his hips, guys. Keep driving through his hips. <clears throat> what I mean by that is he's coming to me. I'm down blocking here. I've lowered my level. I'm not letting go here and grabbing and doing this. Grabbing and reaching and pulling. I'm penetrating through his body. Drive. Right to here. All right, he's coming to me here. Circle, 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 try. Right through his body. <laughs> Any questions? <laughs> Stay low, drive through his, through his hips. Go! <laughs> with my head, remember what I said. When we started getting real good, when I was getting real impressed with you guys, all you Pennsylvania guys, you guys are coming to this leg, go ahead. Doing that with your head. Penetrate. Outside shot. In the outside shot. Block. Start again. Go slower. Go slower. Come in here. You're blocking with your head. On this head of the inside shot, he's coming to me. I'm blocking with my head. Right there. And I stay here. I get to this angle. Wrist and an elbow. Lower my level. I lower my level here. I'm not just stepping here again. What do I got? Walk away from me. Look at what I got. Just walk away. Straight on. See where I'm at? Am I going to pick up Grant? No. Nope. I got to be low here. So you guys are doing a good job. You're getting back where he's penetrating. You're blocking here. He's penetrating. Go ahead. Penetrate. Penetrate. Right here, I'm blocking. You're coming here and you're doing this. You're reaching like this. All right, now, if he walks away from me, this is the position I'm in. Think of it that way always. Think about the position you're going to be in. So same thing. He's coming here. I'm down blocking right here. I stay low. I stay low. I get lower. I drive. I drive across here. Drive, 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 right here. 
Now he walks away from me, look where I'm at. Now I'm in a lot better position here. My arms are bent, hands the waist, knees are bent. I'm in this position right here. All right, we're gonna follow that up. Getting the leg high immediately. So he's coming to me, I'm down blocking here, I'm lowering my level, driving, driving. As I finish, I'm exploding the leg high to my armpit, right to there. My lock stays the same. I'm here, I'm driving, leg high. What that does is when I hit him, that weight is all off me. And when I finish high, when I hit him, that weight is all off me. And when I finish high, it's even more off me. And look at where I'm at. I went from here to explode high here, my tipping toes and my hips in. Now I'm feeding him his knee. It's not back down here. Can't reach. It's here. Explode. See where his knee's bent? Now my hips are close. I can reach and block and trip. He turns down. He won't go belly. Again, same thing. Right leg lead, I'm coming here, I go on my level, I explode. Try to get that big high here. Get the high in my armpit. Not here. Not here. Here. questions here. Let's take it all the way. You're doing, you're doing a fair job of getting to here, and then you're driving like this. All right, let's do a great job by lowering our level. Get your head from here to here. Bring your ear to his, right above his belly button. Right here, I lower my level, I'm driving here. Right here, driving, and slow that way. Any questions? Yeah. <laughs> um, if you're keeping your hands locked, it's going to be hard to get it up on your shoulder. You can put it on your shoulder. You can do, you can do really anything you want, finishing wise. So you're here. You got it. I keep my hands locked right here. Explode in. So I'm in here. Either way, though. You're taking your time in there. You're getting to here, coming up. Either way. Just a lot of ways to skin a cat, right? All right, let's go. Front your feet. When you hit a shot, whether it's your double leg, or we didn't work on a head of the outside single or high crotch, same thing, hitting here, high crotch, and I'm finishing, or I'm hitting my single where I'm driving from here. Get your feet moving, little bitty step where you're driving. Trying to make it too easy from here where you're hitting. You're coming up and you're finishing right now and you're wondering why he doesn't fall down. When I gotta stay low and keep my feet running. Stay low here, drive. Drive in here. Now from here, he's not just gonna fall down. I'm here, I'm running my feet, I'm driving my feet. Drive, 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 Right to there. I'm getting to here, I'm hitting. It's not here, it's... That's not how it is. It's here, and I'm driving. Driving through it. Same thing on the, on the snap single. I'm getting to here, I'm driving through him. It's not here. That's if I get stopped. As I'm driving through him, I'm hit. Look at my feet. Run, 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 run. Run, run, run. He's still up. Come up. Thank you. 
keep that weight off. You want all the weight down here. Right? I don't know how we're going to do it in three minutes, but we're going to find a way. Every second that we're above, 180 seconds, that push up. Pull. Right? How many minutes is 180 seconds? Three minutes? So if we're at 185 seconds, how many push ups is that? Okay, you get the idea. Go! He's squaring, you're letting it develop, you're going to your double. As he continues to square, that leg gets further away. I go to a high crop plane pass. Slide the back leg, pivot, switch off the drop. Same thing. All right? Okay, moving on here. If a guy gets past my head, he gets a little lower, maybe I'm a little sloppier in my stance, he's getting to my leg. When I end up in this position, called a front headlock, my first action still should be to run to the leg. All right? So Rocky here, maybe he hits my head and taps my head. Just tap and go. And I come here, see how I overreacted? And he gets to me there, all right? But he's getting a little bit lower. He's coming to me, he's coming right in here. He beat my head and he beat my hands. Right here. This is where pay dirt is. This is where pay, pay dirt is, the back. He's in deep, I'm in this position, and I'm starting to sprawl right now. Right now, I feel like I'm gonna win this position because his knee and his head are a little too close together. If he had a little bit better angle, right there, now it's a crap shoot. And I feel he's real strong here. I don't like him having his hands locked. I don't like his head up into me like it is. All right, this guy knows what he's doing when he's finishing a single leg. There's, other, there's certain things that I can do here to win too, like create pressure this way. Throw my leg down and away like we're talking about. Crunching him up here, arching my back, getting those arms broke off my leg. Now I continue to run to the leg. Arms bent, I continue to run to the leg, right here. Now I have my takedown, but I don't let up here. What did we just do at the very end? What were you supposed to be thinking about? Drive. Same thing here, I'm up the butt, high on the thigh, high on the hamstring, I'm driving through his hip, right to there. Now I got my takedown, I'm right where I want to be as far as going into my turns and my, my uh, control from the top. All right? So again, your drill, you gotta watch your shoulders now. Your drill is, he's getting past your head and your hand just, and I'm gonna be sprawling out in here. So he's coming to me, I'm sprawling right here. Right now, what I gotta do is I gotta get my, you see where my leg is? Everybody see my leg? Right here, I gotta continue to attack. I gotta continue to attack. My arm went from a wizard to inside, I knock it off, right to there. He's gonna to continue to square, and as he squares, I go to the chin. Now I'm in my front headlock. This is what, what we call a front headlock position. Short offense. Again, from this position, run to the leg. I got the hand on the chin, I'm on my left knee, I'm right here, I'm on my left knee, I'm not in here like this, where you can obviously grab it and run me and knock me over this way. I have my hips heavy on it. My knee's on the mat because that keeps my hips low. If I'm on my feet, I don't move as well. I don't move as well here. I want to be here. He's going to be on his hands, though. I'm going to be right stand line. Yeah, right there. I'm going to be right in here. And I'm running to this leg. So I pressure in. I run to the side. He's going to react. He's going to square. As he squares, I follow to the head. Pull it to me. There's my fat arm on the leg. Not here, guys. It's in. He's squared. As I'm running, I'm bouncing. I'm getting bent arm on the leg. Come off the head. Drive. Right to it. Again, he gets to me. He gets to me here. Down block. That time he did beat my hands, he beat my head. 
So I'm already on the chin, I knock it off my leg. I take that hand and I knock it off my leg. See, I don't want him on there and then have him lock his hands. I don't like that. Now I'm in here, he's got his hands up. Now I gotta wrestle from here. I don't like it. I don't like wrestling from here. Right, right now he's got a good angle on me. This is, this is a crap shoot. Okay. So he's coming to me. That time he beat my head and my hands. So I whiz her, I get space. Turn that hip down, square, grab again. Turn that hip down and square, hip down and square, inside, on the chin, run into the leg, he squares, pull the hip to me, toward the mat to me, hand up the butt, switch, continue to drive forward. Hey guys, I don't mean to be crude. Plug your ears, guys. <laughs> grab his nut sack, all right? And I don't mean call kick. What I mean, where when I'm deep here, I got him. Right? Because this, he strains his leg, I'm weak again. Go back, I'm here, he strains his leg, it doesn't matter. I'm right up that rear end, guys. Then I switch here and I'm dragging him forward. Dragging him forward right to his belly. All right? We'll talk about that anymore, but you know what your assignment is. Okay? I'm in here, he beats my head and my hands right there. All right? When I sprawl, I arch my back. The best way that I had a sprawl taught to me was get your feet off the mat. It makes a lot of sense. If you're struggling here and you feel like he's crawling up on you because your feet are on the mat, see that? Now watch where my feet are on the mat. See my feet? Watch my feet again. Go ahead, drive again. Watch my feet. It'll get my feet stuck here where you can come. Right here, get on the mat. See my feet? Arch, arch, square, square. Now I can come back to my feet on the mat. Once his hands are off my legs. So you're in this position. Arch your back, get your feet off the mat. He dry, he's driving. Feet off the mat that puts your see that puts your hips on the mat. Right here. Now square. Now he starts to square. Go to the chin. Go to the chin. Run, he's squaring some more. Pull the head down towards you. See the angle. My hips go down toward his hips. Off the head, dry. As he's coming to me, I throw those hips go lower a little. Right here. <laughs> now I'm square, he'll square. Chin. Run. Look at my arms straight. I'm not getting where I want to be. He's squaring. Pull the head down the mat toward me. Switch. Now my arm is down the mat. Questions? Nothing's changed. Nothing's changed. He's coming to me. He beat me. He's penetrating here. Nothing's changed. He's getting to it now. He's getting to it. He beat me there, so now I come to this position. It's right here. I run. He squares. I pull the head down the mat and toward me. That wasn't a very good job there. All right? He's on me. I'm running. He's not, I'm not getting to swim. And I gotta move. Guys, when you're in here, when you're right here, I gotta get that hand off my leg. And when I'm here and I'm pulling, I gotta move. I don't pull here. See? Go back. I'm here, I'm moving. I'm getting to that leg. He's square. Moving to that angle. Doing a lot of different things here. Any questions? Let's go out, work on it. We'll bring it back in and clean it up. Go! Maybe I uh, jumped the gun here. But I think uh, I think we start, let's start from right down here. Let's just start from right here, okay? He's shot, he's just gonna put his hand on my leg. That's right there, okay? Now he's gotta be pretty tough because I'm gonna be pounded on him a little bit. All right, but I'm here, I'm knocking the hand off my leg, and I'm sprawling right there. Now I square my hips. When I square my hips, 
got my hip here, when I square my hips, that's when my knee goes to the mat. Once my knee goes to the mat, that's when I run to the leg. Hustle in this position goes a long, long ways. Hustling and running to that leg goes a long, long ways. Meaning, if I'm here and I start holding and trying to choke and all those things that really don't matter from a scoring point of view, I'm going to even it up. Every second that goes by, get off your lunch. Every second that goes by here where I'm holding and not making some type of action happen, I lose an opportunity or more of an opportunity to score. So he's getting to my leg. I'm down blocking here. Right when my knee touches that mat, I start running here. I get down his body. I get down his body there. Get down his body, turn again, turn. I get down his body there, all right? As I start getting down his body, he'll square on me. As he squares, that's when I run, and I pull that head the direction I'm going, toward that arm, toward me, and to the mat. So it's here, here, and here, all at the same time, right to there. I'm here in this position, that's when I can get down the leg, down to, down to the hip. Turn again. The reason why is because I got all the weight on this arm, and if I just try to run here, what's he gonna do? Lift that up, lift that up right there. That's no fun. I'm going, yeah, I'm probably gonna get dumped right here. That's not fun. That's not fun. That's not fun. All right, it's just because I got a little bit anxious, over anxious, and I'm not getting the weight forward. So all the weights in this arm, lift your arm. Man. That's hard. That's hard to do. Lift your arm. Lift your arm. Get your head up. Lift your arm. Lift your arm. See? See the difference? So, hey, hey, right here. When I pull this head down, get it weight on it. Now I run down. Right. Emphasize. From here, I double block. Knee on the mat, I start running to the leg. He squares. That's what I want. He squares. I pull the head down, get down the legs. Right there. See how my arm slides up over his head? Get right to here, and now I can. Any questions? That's it very quickly. That's it in a nutshell. Let's do a good job for the last little bit here. 
Okay? All right, let's go. What of me is, is when he gets to my leg and I sprawl, he goes down, go down. This, 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 came here. this does me no good. I have no feel here. I mean, I feel like if I start running front headlocks, I'm going to fall down. Because really, all I got to do is come here and run around behind him. Just like that. All right? We want him tough and strong. So I've been here, he's on his hands and knees. He's, I'm going to tell you which leg to slap at. That's my lead leg. When he slaps at it, I'm going to down block and sprawl. See how he took it? That's a good partner. He didn't cave in. All right, so stay on your hands and knees here. Stay tough. Don't go to your haunch and put your head on the mat. This is very frustrating for the offensive guy because it's not too tough to run around a guy like that. And coaches, the penalty box is coming back at the University of Iowa. If we have guys in our room that take a shot and put their freaking head on the mat and go to this position and let a guy run around behind them, they're going to sit in the penalty box and they're going to watch practice. So that's a good idea for you coaches. If you want your guys to compete hard in those positions. I don't tolerate it at all. I'm not getting mad, okay? I'm just getting really excited. All right? Because when you have a dog fight, who cares if this guy took a bad shot? Who cares if you put your head in the mat? Who cares if he's here? If he's correct in his position right now? Wrestle. Right here. See, I want a dog fight here. Because you know what? You're going to be in this position. You're going to be right here where Rocky is. And it's pay dirt. And we could spend just as much time working this and troubleshooting this position as we could from working this position. So either way, we want both guys to get better. And I'll tell you what, if you have guys in your room that take a shot and put their head in the back and let guys run around behind them, that is invading the very core of what this sport is all about. It's invading what battle and toughness is all about. You're quitting. Now maybe you didn't quit the match. You know, if you, if you took a bad shot, and you ended up, you got skidded, and the guy ran around behind you, and you're coming up right now, coming out, that's one thing. But if you take a shot, <coughs> and you go fetal position, you sit here, and you crawl to your belly, I got big problems there, all right? Okay, good. We got that out of my system. All right, we're in here. He takes a shot. I'm down blocking right here. Now, right from here, guys, this guy's a good partner for me. I knock the hand off. He feels me going to this leg, and that's when he squares. See, he's being active. When he squares, that's when I'm running and bouncing and pulling that hip and head toward me. That's when I get my hips down the body here. And I would really like to have this head on the mat. Give it to me. I would really like to be right here. But sometimes I won't be. But I'm still, because of his reaction, square, and my bounce, I'm still getting down the leg. I'm still getting down the leg here. Switching and finishing. Now, right now, I got my two, but I might as well finish. I might as well finish right here. So let's, let's really work hard, both guys here. Really work hard. Now it's his turn. I've been here with you want me to slap to. So I'm coming right from here, right there. Now he's got his hand on my chin. He's going to run to that leg. I'm going to square. He's getting down there by hustling. Right there, good. All right? Hustle. Hustle for this position. Hustle. 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 Go again. Some more extra anyway on top of that. So we got 70 push-ups. Everybody okay with that? Yeah. Woo! Yeah! You guys got any questions? I'll be around here at 2 o'clock. 2 to 
the floor upstairs, but you guys come up and see me if you got any questions. All right? You guys did a good job. Let's spread out. Yes.